Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 10th of 2020, well, it is titled Perseids from Perseus. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image looking at hundreds of meteors from the Perseid meteor shower. And the Perseid meteor shower occurs every year. And that happens when the Earth passes through the debris left behind by a comet. So as comets pass close to the sun, they will uh, be vaporized. And a lot of material will give us the great... Uh, uh, head and tail that we see of a comet, as we've looked at with Comet Neowise recently. And that material is not bound to the comet, but will eventually be released and will continue to orbit the sun just as the comet did. So the comet leaves a lot of debris around its, uh, around its orbit. So even though the comet here, this would be Comet Swift-Tuttle, is, no, is not around, some of the debris is still there, and when the Earth happens to cross its orbit, then we are able to see uh, the meteors. That's a small piece of debris, just little grains of sand, bits of dust, that are vaporizing within the atmosphere of the Earth and then burning up. So we can see many of them here, uh, some very faint, others very bright. And in fact, if you have the mouse moved over the uh, image, you can see that it's labeled as to where various things are. You can see the fireball that occurred on August the 12th. And that was a very relatively bright object that burned up. And that, that means it probably was a little bit bigger object. So it had a little more energy as it came in and was able to become a little brighter. So the very tiniest objects just give you a little flash of light. A fireball could be a somewhat larger sized object. Now, this, of course, is mentioned because the Perseid meteor shower is coming up and will peak tomorrow night. And we call it the Perseid meteor shower because if you trace all of these back, they seem to come from the direction of the constellation of Perseus. And that is labeled in the image as the radiant point. The radiant point is the point at which the constellation the, the, the uh, meteors appear to radiate from. So it looks like they all come from this specific region of the sky. That happens because all of these are traveling parallel through space. And then when we look at them, they appear to project back to the same uh, area and converge off in the distance. Much as we can look at on a long road, you can see railroad tracks converging off in the distance or telephone poles converging off in the distance. Well, the meteors do the same thing. We know that they're truly coming parallel, following the same orbits. But when they uh, look, when we look off in the distance, they will appear to converge. And in this case, they will converge to the radiant point, which is how the meteor showers are named after the constellation from which they appear to radiate. So you can see a number of them here, including the large fireball uh, towards the central portion of the image. So if you get a chance, it's supposed to have a very, be a very good meteor shower this year. So a good chance to see the Perseids uh, coming up, uh, especially tomorrow night. But over the last couple days and the next couple after that, you'll still have a good chance to see a number of meteors. So that was our picture of the day for August the 10th of 2020. It was titled Perseids from Perseus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be high on Jupiter. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.